Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to do a data prediction using federated learning in Python. So, I have taken the rainfall data for the feature prediction. So, I will show you how to uh, do that one. So, initially we need to load the library files. Then we need to load the X-train and Y-train data and as well as X-test and Y-test data. So for the purpose of federated learning, we need to have the two models that is global model and the local model. So we need to define those models here. So this is the global model for the prediction and this is the local model. So once we design the local and global model, we need to train the local model separately. Finally, we need to take the average weights of all the three models to update the global model. So this is the federated learning code for the uh, prediction. So initially we uh, uh, define the global model here. Then we need to set the parameters like number of clients and uh, uh, number of epochs everything. So, so here we need to uh, split the client data. So we have taken three clients. So total data are uh, separated into uh, three uh, uh, distributed into three clients so once that are uh, completed we are going for training so for each epochs all the local models are trained separately so for that uh, we are taking the data from the each clients and create the local model and compile the local model then training the mo local model and displaying the epoch value and the mean square error value then appending all the uh, global models in order to update the uh, up, appending all the local models in order to update the global model so initializing the global model after that then here we doing the uh, averaging of all the weights uh, which are taken from the global local model then finally we are updating the weights of the global model so we'll be getting the final global model uh, once this the training has completed we can go for testing our data so these are the uh, uh, epochs uh, and loss values and msc values for all the clients all the three clients so then we are we now the training is completed we are going for testing our data so for that we loaded our data we are going to predict the data with our uh, predict the more predicting the uh, our test data with the global model so we will be getting the values like this finally we can plot that one and we can get the msc value and rmsc values also so this is the predicted graphical values so this is the original values original data so you can see it looks same only so we will be getting the better result compared to the previous conventional models so i will just run this program once again uh, just we can uh, load the data here that is training data and training label testing data and testing labels here then we can uh, load the global model here and we are going to train the each model separately finally updating then updating the global models here so now the training is started uh, for our epochs one for all the three clients then epoch 2 for all the three clients likewise it is going up to epochs 20 because we have given the number of epoch is 20 so now the each model is training separately once the training is completed uh, we will take the uh, average value of all the three models then that way it is updated with the global model so that uh, that global model is called the uh, final federated learning model so it's going up to epoch 14 so you can see the msc values is do uh, coming down and the loss also reducing so i have taken some sample data so we can use it for any kind of data like stock market prediction uh, solar prediction radiation prediction anything any kind of application we can use this algorithm
and then we load the uh, testing data here and predicting the data and then just plotting plotting the data here so this is our uh, predicted data getting from the credit learning so this is our original data so it looks mostly same only so we'll be getting the good result here uh, likewise we can use it for any 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 kind of data prediction so make sure that the data has to be loaded properly and the size should be uh, equally matched with the labels so i hope you understand this video or if any doubt means you can contact me or you can whatsapp me uh, then i can clarify all your doubts okay thank you thanks for watching